okay so since we had the NTP server now I will show like what changes we can do, make in the storage like adding a disk to the aggregate though it shows the tier option we discussed already like tier now it, it has local tier and the cloud tier cl local tier is like all the aggregates which is within the cluster and cloud tier is mainly if like it has been tiered to the AWS or Azure so I can go here I can select my particular uh, particular aggregate I can go and add disk also in this one I want to add some disk I want to add only two disk and earlier it is like something 1.76 capacity now I can add the capacity I can add the capacity in this and it can so I'm adding a two disk which will add up additional 2.64 and the job will run it added only one gb extra so that was a complete usable disk so it is 500 mb each so we added one so in this way you can expand the aggregate and if i have to create the new aggregate I'll go over here and uh, I want to create a new local tier and see the main challenge is you can't customize over here we, we, you have to follow the recommendations what uh, on tap is giving so the only way around is like uh, you can create the aggregate from the CLI so we'll explore that option so just want to see my complete aggregates which are there right now and now i'll try to create the another aggregate <coughs> let it be I think I have three. I will create a fourth one. HTD four and I will use cluster node zero one and disk type. Let me check. Page disk. What I have is disk. And FCAL is the type what we have right now. We even have SSD. These are the which are free and available. I can make the use of that particular one. And these are in the pool zero okay now I can make my aggregate with how many disk I am having in the pool zero Ooh, it is approximately I'll take seven out of, seven out of this these many so let's go at one aggregate storage aggregate create aggregate and one h d d four i'm just using the same naming convention what it has been used and i'm going to use cluster zero one I have enough disk of FCAL type and discount I'm going to 
keep seven. Yeah, so I'm creating a aggregate which is going to be red DP and I'm adding seven disks out of which the capacity will be provided by only five and two are acting as a parity so if uh, it which means like it could able to tolerate two disk failure and there won't be any impact on the data so to just to see yeah this is my new one which i have created right now Oh, specific read type like instead of read dp i want to use read 4 then the format will be like this i'm going to use hard disk five, 5 group and then i'm going to choose read type will be a red four four and next type will be FL and discount I'm just keeping it five only because red four has only one parity so if I want to specify with the type like not dp dp is kind of default it is taking read for or read take i can specify that particular one and create specific type of read group in that particular aggregate so let me see i have four and five created and it has been owned by the node zero one all these disk which are participating to make that particular red group with aggregate so this is how you can we can create a red group and uh, a red group and make which can participate in that particular uh, aggregate and since it is not updated here i think i need to just refresh the page yes now it is showing me the information read 4 and read 5 this is HTD4 HTD5 this is with my read DP and this is with my read 4 yeah here it is read 4 this it will show the disk information over here what volumes have been carved out from this particular aggregate all this information will be demonstrated over here and all tiers so I'll move back in read 5 read and red 4 it was red dp yep so red dp of seven days can falling disc are participating in this particular uh, this particular aggregate that's all so this is how we create the aggregate in this on tap version so if best practice is to customize like in using CLI or API instead of uh, using the recommended approach over here I think yeah that's all